in English, Indiana. It's in the extreme southern part of Indiana, near the Ohio River, about 40 miles from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, born and raised there, big timber area. My dad's been involved in some facet of the, of the wood business all of his life for the most part, um, working with the railroads. And then there was a point where that just didn't work out anymore. We decided we were going to uh, go into the lumber business. And that's basically where this all started. We started with a, a heli automatic sawmill and operated that there for the first 21 years, roughly. Um, and things went great with it, but the margins continually uh, went down with the hardwoods on and the circles off. So we had to just make a decision to do something on the yield. Um, it wasn't that we weren't profitable still, because we were, but we needed to make a decision to, to improve yield, um, to keep our profits where they needed to be. And that's when um, we made a decision uh, to to go with a band resaw and the horizontal, we, we like the horizontal because in a lot of ways it's just easier for the operator to, to operate. And we really we really made the decision to try to do this early on in the game and a lot of the, the few saws that were out there, they weren't perfected. And we went with the company, installed, and it just didn't work out. Um, so after a long painful recovery from that, uh, we we finally made the decision that it was still the right decision to do to go with the thing curve and to make those changes and we started the process of trying to make the decision of who saw to use and it was a long drawn out process uh, and we looked at all the saws that we thought could do the thing that we would like to do which was reduce um, curve, um, increase yield and allow us to just turn turn the logs for the best the best face and, and in turn make the best lumber that we possibly could out of every log that went through our mill. Um, we looked and we looked and, and we saw problems with all the saws and we were really starting to get kind of discouraged because we just weren't seeing what we needed to see. We had, we had seen the mistakes of the, the previous saw that we had and we saw that quite frankly many of them just weren't cured. Um, and then we went with, went to the uh, to Bruco and, and had a meeting with you guys and made arrangements to go see some saws around. We, we saw, I believe, two saws that, that you guys built. Uh, one was a, a really new uh, B1600 that had just been installed and one had been in a little bit longer. Um, we liked what we saw. Uh, in particular, we were impressed with the set works and the uh, the just smooth operation of the wraparound completely. I mean, it was just smooth, the whole transition from conveyor. Um, it just worked really well. And so that's kind of how we ended up making the decision to go with the, with the brood cup. We were fortunate that our, our installation was finished up right at the end of the year in 2003. So we had the whole year of 2004 um, with our brew co, although it was still a learning curve involved and we're still learning. Um, but we had the whole year to, to compare figures from the very beginning. Um, we didn't have to have any wait time for that process to start. So we did a complete year and at the end of the year um, we, we compare the previous year to what we did with our brew co. And we we traditionally had had about a 15% oversaw on our logs and using dual scale. Uh, with the brew co, we've increased that to 30%, so that's a 15% increase in, in the yield. We basically uh, cut the same amount of logs, there's a little difference but not much, and cut, well, an extra 15% lumber over the year. Uh, which I think is pretty impressive. When our numbers were all finished with that additional 15%, I think it figured up to uh, 700,000 feet of, of additional oversaw to what we were what we were doing, and 
those are pretty impressive numbers and they're real, realistic. I mean, we have the numbers, we kept the records, and that's what actually happened. Uh, it's been impressive. One thing I would like to mention is you fellows at Bruco, I mean, anything that you've told us all, all along through this process, uh, you guys have followed up with. The service has been just exactly what we needed. No smoke and mirrors. Uh, what you see is what you get, and what you what they say is what they do. And that's unusual in this day and age. We normally don't get that, and uh, that's just a good thing.